In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the Phillips curve. When we have expansionary fiscal and or expansionary monetary policies, the aggregate demand curve will shift to the right, increasing price levels and real GDP. This increases inflation and decreases unemployment. When we go through contractionary fiscal and or monetary policies, the aggregate demand curve shifts to the left, bringing price levels and GDP down, bringing inflation down and unemployment up. When we shift the aggregate supply curve to the right, price levels go down and real GDP increase. This brings inflation and unemployment down, which shifts the short-run Phillips curve to the left. When the short-run aggregate supply curve shifts to the left, price levels go up and real GDP goes down. This brings inflation and unemployment up which shifts the short-run Phillips curve to the right. In the long run, we're going to start at point A, representing our equilibrium point. When we increase aggregate demand going through expansionary cycles, price levels and GDP will increase the point B. Inflation will also increase and unemployment will decrease. In the long run, the short run aggregate supply curve will shift to the left, further bringing prices up to point C, and our output will return back to the long run equilibrium, which will shift the short run Phillips curve to the right, increasing inflation to point inflation 3 and bringing unemployment back to our original starting point. When we go through contractionary policies, we will decrease the aggregate demand curve to the left. We move to point B. Price levels in real GDP will decrease. Bring in inflation down and our unemployment up. In the long run, the supply curve will shift back to equilibrium, which will be a rightward shift to point C, further bringing down price levels and bringing our GDP back to our original starting point, which will result in a leftward shift in the short run Phillips curve, further bringing inflation down and our unemployment back to our equilibrium starting point. When we have an increase in supply, this will bring our price levels down and our GDP up. As we know, inflation and unemployment will go down, moving the short run Phillips curve to the left. If no monetary or fiscal stabilization policies are implemented, the short-run aggregate supply and short-run Phillips curve will shift back to equilibrium. If the change is permanent, the long-run aggregate supply and the long-run Phillips curve will shift, making these price levels, GDP, inflation, and unemployment levels permanent. With a decrease in short run aggregate supply, our price levels will increase and our GDP will shift to the left. Inflation and unemployment will both increase, shifting our short run Phillips curve to the right. If no monetary or fiscal stabilization policies are implemented, the short run aggregate supply and short run Phillips curve will shift back to equilibrium. 
If the change is permanent, the long run error gets applied and the long run Phillips curve will shift. These price levels, inflation levels, GDP, and unemployment levels will be permanent.